This video is not so much about the care of Cattleya maxima or Lelia crispilabia. Instead, we're just gonna take a breather and enjoy what I consider first impressions when it comes to this wonderful hobby of ours, growing orchids. Even though many of our orchids bloom year after year after year, we should rejoice and embrace first impressions. And that is what I want to draw your attention to with these two gorgeous orchids. I understand that my Maxima isn't exactly the epitome of a perfect blooming, but her color is gorgeous. So we're just gonna go with that. I explained in other videos what is going on with this orchid and the fact that she's blooming this time of year, January of 2024, is exceptional. What is also exceptional when it comes to first impressions is a first time bloomer that happily is not mislabeled. That would be my little Lelia Crispy Labia. However, when you look at this picture right here, bar any imperfections of the blooming of my Maxima, what do you see? Well, at the intro, I showed you an image of what I'm looking at when I have these out and about on the patio, enjoying some natural light. What I see is brother and sister. We've got Cattleya Maxima as the big Cattleya with the beautiful big pink blooms with a fabulous fragrance. And then you look down at little sister, the Lelia Crispilavia. They have so many similarities in their blooms. My mind was blown when I have them grouped like that together. And I thought, hey, hey let's see what you think about it. We have very similar markings in the lip. The color, I mean, it's almost a perfect match, wouldn't you say? The detail with the ruffles in the lip, the striations coming out from the center of the lip to the petals and the sepals. Crispy Labia doesn't have a fragrance, but oh my goodness, I just could not resist to throw this video together and share this with you because first impressions. And I can tell you that I doubt very, very much I'm gonna have this combo blooming together again in the near future because as my Maxima hopefully recovers and gets back into the redim of her normal blooming cycle, she probably will not be in bloom when the Crispy Labia blooms again. So this for me, is super special. They do have some similarities, however, they both come from South America, whereas Maxima is the west coast of the slopes of the Andes, all the way from Peru up north to Ecuador and beyond into Colombia, as well as Venezuela. And a little fun fact, just to throw it into this video as a bonus little thing for the fact that you clicked on this video, a fun fact about the Maxima, in Peru she is called Flor de Navidad which is Christmas flower. There you've got the key as well. Yes, it is winter here. As I'm filming this video in southern Spain, it's winter. So Flor de Navidad, that would make sense that she would bloom in South America, but that is where it is summer during Christmas. So what is she doing blooming here now? I think that they just had to bloom together so that I could bring this to you because our little Lelia Crispy Lavia, she's all the way to the the east side of the South American continent in beautiful Brazil. Da, 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 la, la. You know, carnival coming up very soon. Very fitting, yes. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting carried away. This was supposed to be a quick little video about this beautiful first impression that I have on the patio. And here I'm going, la, 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 la. But this is what happens when I get into the Maxima and I get into my Lelia Crispy Labia. But anyway, the Crispy Labia is over yonder in Minas Gerais, a province that I have on my bucket list but probably will never ever get to see because it's not going to be easy to hike to the slopes where these little rapiculous lelias bloom. So we have a miniature versus a standard sized cattleya because my maxima could be just in between the lowlands and the highlands when it comes to size. And their care is pretty much the same, but I have found out that this year, during the lower temperatures of the winter, <laughs> yeah, the Maxima does not appreciate temperatures below 10 degrees Celsius, whereas my Crispy Labia, she is in the blooming alley and she is doing just 
fine. Another little tiny detail of difference here between the two of them. The Maxima is beautifully fragrant with an elegant rose fragrance and she greets me in the morning with the fragrance even though she's indoors without any light until I take her outside. It is evident that she likes the warmth a little bit more than the Crispy Labia which is absolutely not fragrant. And while I was babbling away I hope that you could see the similarities I was pointing out at the beginning of the video that the images I had rolling that you could see the similarities between the two and why this first impression oh well yes it is now documented, seeing as it is possible that this is a one-off. But I present you Catlia Maxima, Big Brother, and Lelia Crispy Labia, Little Sister. Makes perfect sense to me. They are, after all, in the Catlia Alliance. So this is a little family picture. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed seeing what I'm seeing on the patio. Thank you so very much for indulging me. Thank you so much for watching. Give these two orchids a like. That would be greatly appreciated. If you think anybody else would benefit from these beautiful blooms to make their day, feel free to share it. That's also greatly appreciated by all parties, including myself and the recipients of a shared video like this, as well as please take a moment to subscribe to the channel if you have not already subscribed. I'm going to leave you with these final first impressions. Have yourself a beautiful day on the condition though please that you stay safe. Take care. Bye!